when you say broke Kenyans, it's almost saying all Kenyans are broke. Um, and broke they are. Uh, you don't need to, to go very far, uh, uh, just walk into the streets of Nairobi or in your neighborhood and you realize how broke people are. The frustrations which are there are way, way, way beyond what we know or we've known for a long time, mm. that's, that's for sure. Forced to steal, crime rates have gone up. There's evidence, um, even in villages, by the way, people who have... Um, who have coffee, they have um, fruits in their garden, in their farms, they have livestock, they're facing that problem every day. Um, a friend of mine the other day said that people went and stole his coffee from the barn. And, and so people are actually being forced. Uh, unfortunately, it's not just the broke Kenyans who are stealing. Mm -hmm. Even the richest Kenyans are stealing. Yes, um, stealing. So it's... it's <laughs> I think, I think the broke Kenyans are looking and saying, if you're stealing, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, why, why can't we also steal? There's so much theft in, in the public service. There's so much theft in uh, leadership. And, um, and, and it's, you, you know, the, those who have want to get more. And, and those who don't have trying to just survive to get back. Uh, the price of some things have come down. But what is the point if you have no money? It doesn't matter how far down they come mm -hmm. if there's no money. You know, when there was money in the pocket, you'd be able to say, yes, things have come down and you can afford. Mm -hmm. Affordability depends on what's in the pocket. And, and, and since there is no money in the pocket, uh, if, if, you, if, you, if you get messages of people asking you for money, on, on, like those of us who get messages like that, somebody is asking you to send them as little as 100 bob mm -hmm. or less on, on, on M-Pesa. And you're wondering now, Surely, it has come to that. By the time you're spending, sending 50 bob or 100 bob on M-Pesa, you're just basically saying, this is how low we have come. Mm -hmm. Now, my, my own advice is, and I think uh, uh, President Ruto and his cabinet and all those people who, who lead this country need to realize, first of all, the state of the people that they're leading. You know, you can speak all, all the good English. You can actually spread all the good news you have about what you're doing. But really, first of all, get to the ground and listen. Listen to the people themselves. Mm -hmm. How are they? What's the state of the people? What's the state of the nation, literally? Uh, and you realize that it's a very bad state. Mm -hmm. And so policies must adjust to take care of situations like this one. So instead of doing all these huge, huge multi-billion projects, let's think about compassion. Let's bring compassion to the nation. And, and first of all, deal with the basic things that people need. Right now, it's actually basic things. Um, but if you, if you live up there and, and, and you don't see it, you'll probably think there's a lot of rebellion mm -hmm. in the country. You'll think there are people just being politicized. No, it's actually real. There is poverty mm -hmm. in this country. Yes. Uh, the story on page two of the standard, they say the number of Kenyans and police officers committing crimes has risen significantly with theft, robbery, drug related offenses, burglary and economic crimes being the most prevalent. Uh, they say this is according to a report released by the National Council of Administrative Justice, which paints a grim picture of crime thriving even within law enforcement agencies with police officers leading in committing crimes. So homicide is up. Offenses against morality are up. Other offenses against persons, robbery, break-ins, theft of stock, which you mentioned, theft by servants, stealing, vehicle theft, offenses concerning dangerous uh, drugs, even traffic offenses, criminal damage, economic crimes, corruption. There are so many and everything is going up. Uh, and uh, but Akiro, you talked about something interesting, the mental status of uh, Kenyans. Uh, do you think that